Hi, welcome to Jamaican Cooking 101. Today we will be preparing steamed fish, okra and crackers. Now this is a Jamaican favorite dish and it is simple to make. It's a one pot meal. It's nutritious and healthy. Stay tuned to Jamaican Cooking 101. Welcome back. Here we have pre-prepared some ingredients, but let us talk quickly about steamed fish and okra. This is a popular dish right across the Caribbean, but it is very popular in Jamaica, especially amongst the male folks. Now, let us look at the ingredients we have here. So we have pre-prepared our seasoned fish, a bowl of vegetables, and in particular pumpkin, some chopped onions, garlic, ginger, crushed pimento, thyme, cocoa, carrots, and our okra. This is what the whole okra would look like. In some Caribbean islands, we call it ladies finger. Now here we have the water crackers. These are the tough crackers. We have additional ingredients here. So let us just quickly move this cup of water. Here we have some vegetable oil, oyster sauce and some white vinegar. We have butter, some black pepper and garlic powder. If they become necessary, we can use them. But first, let us make a quick vegetable stock by using a bouillon and dissolving it in just about one cup of water. All right, the bouillon will add flavor and create a quick stock. So if you don't have bouillon or a pre-prepared stock, it's okay to add water, okay? Plain water will be fine. So here we have the stock and we're gonna set that aside and quickly add some oil to a well-heated pan. So it's just about a tablespoon of oil so there we have it, just enough to base the, the pan, just to coat the pan. And we're going in with our vegetables. In particular, we're going in with the onions first, garlic, ginger, so that the oil will take on those flavors. All right, so we get that together. And then we're gonna add all other ingredients except the okra. And we're not adding the okra at this point because we want it to still have a crunch at the end of preparation all right we add the cocoa simply to give a bit of body to the dish so instead of adding thickness the cocoa will do just that it will thicken the mixture all right so now we're gonna add our stuff and the pan is well hot so it should be sizzling as soon as we place the stock in. All right, there we go. Now get everything into it and we are gonna cover and have that cook for about five to eight minutes, just until the pumpkin is soft enough. So we're gonna have that covered. The okra could be left whole and the entire fruit be placed in the pot but i've decided to slice these we have the water crackers the tough crackers and so that will go in at the same time as the okra now we need to take a look at the pot so let's move quickly over to see what's happening with it if the pumpkin is cooked yet let's check so the cook time of the pumpkin will be determined by the nature of the pumpkin. So let's check if this one is cooked. It has been on for six minutes. It has been cooking for six minutes and it seems to need some more time. So we're going in with the oyster sauce and we need just about a tablespoon. And the oyster sauce will add flavor and the color to the dish. If you don't have oyster sauce, it is fine to add a little soy sauce. Some people will also add some ketchup, 
but as I said, the cocoa is going to thicken the mixture for us. All right, so we are going to add a little bit of vinegar. You don't have to add vinegar. You could add some lemon or lime juice. The purpose of the vinegar or the lime juice is just to take away the fish taste. We would say the rawness but just to take away that strong fish smell and flavor so now we have allowed the pumpkin to cook for another three minutes for an additional three minutes and yes it is tender enough now the liquid has been reduced and so we'll have to add just about half cup more just about half cup of water because this mixture is well seasoned so we're going in with that half cup water and then it will be time to add the fish. Now, as I said, the fish is pre-seasoned. So we will go right ahead and place them in. Now, these are cutlets and this would be taken from the upper part of the fish. So it includes a bit of its gut going up towards its head. Now I've chosen cutlets because they are small, easy to move around in the pot and they allow for quick and easy cooking. Fish overall doesn't take a long time to cook but these in particular because they are small they will cook easily. Alright notice I am placing them nicely in the pot so that each has its little space. And I've left the center without any piece of fish as that will be where I will put the okra but before I put in the okra I'm going to add a little bit of butter the butter is optional you don't have to all right but I want that nice flavor and so I'm gonna add just about a tablespoon of butter all right let me get a smaller spoon to take it out and here we go all right so once we get that in we're gonna add the okra and the crackers and we will be well on our way all right so we're finishing up with that i'm gonna be using a small spoon just to move about the butter so that it's evenly distributed and then I'm going to use that same spoon to spoon the liquid over the pieces of fish. Now this ensures that all the flavor will be evenly distributed. Each piece will have the same taste and flavor. Alright so now it's time to add the okra and we're putting it in the center of the arrangement all right so there we go and then we're gonna add our crackers to the side now some persons want their crackers to have a bit of crunch and so they would put them in after they would have um turned off the flame but i'm putting my mine in from now because i want them to be a little bit on the soggy side all right, so we're going to cover and allow this to cook for about two more minutes before we turn the fish. All right, here we are. After two minutes, it is bubbling. Wow. All right, so we're going to go in and make sure to turn each piece of fish. We're moving away the crackers. And this is what I'm talking about. They are well moist and ready for consumption all right so we are moving the okra to place them over the fish and give us a bit of space to turn each slice of fish it's important to get the liquid right around making sure that all pieces of fish get some of the same flavor all right here we have some herbs we have basil French thyme and rosemary. So we're adding these for flavor. Now you can take these from your backyard garden and because they are fresh, they have really good flavor. 
we could add our hot pepper at this point if you are not uh, the type that loves pepper then you might want to leave it for the very last so let us quickly turn over some of these pieces so that we ensure that they are evenly cooked and once again because they are small they are easy to turn over all right you're noticing that they're not breaking up the liquid is not too runny and so by the end of cook time we will have a nice gravy or sauce all right and if you want you could have added more crackers but we're just working with four at this point all right now this is a complete dish it has its carbohydrates its vegetables and of course its star which is the fish so once you plate this out you need nothing else except a glass of water okay after two minutes we're gonna be checking on the pot and we're gonna be adding the pepper I am just slicing the top because I don't want too much heat in the pot I just want its flavor so if you wanted it to be hot you would have to slice up a few pieces and add it after a minute I'm gonna shift it to the other side so that the flavor is equally distributed all right I'm gonna add some liquid right and just move it quickly over to the other side in a minute we'll be turning off the flame and allowing this to sit once you're finished cooking especially meat dishes allowing it to sit before plating allow the ingredients to come together and it have a better presentation when you do that all right so we're putting out our crackers and like i told you you could have added more crackers if you wanted if you're not a fan of crackers then you could have added potatoes or pasta some persons would have even preferred doing some rice to serve alongside the steamed fish all right so we're gonna make some space for a few slices of fish so we're going in we're just gonna be using three pieces if you wanted the fish to have a darker look a darker color then you could have added more soya sauce molasses or some more oyster sauce all right but today we're going for a more pumpkin creamy look you could have also added coconut cream to give it a totally different spin we're going in for a little bit of the vegetables and making sure we have some of the juice. All right, removing a sprig of thyme and then we're going to clean up our platter. All right. Now fish should be garnished. It can be garnished with any type of citrus fruit. Now citrus fruit could include grapefruits, oranges, lime, or lemon. Today, I'm gonna be using a little bit of lemon. So I have a few slices of lemon that I'm going to use. So let's get the plates well cleaned, tidy up the workspace, and let's quickly garnish and serve. All right, so we're gonna add our lemon slices just to the side and a sprig of scallion. Now this will add a little contrast to the dish. The purpose of using lemon slices is to remove the taste of fish from the palate once you have finished eating. All right, so here we have it, our Jamaican steamed fish and okra. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying with us throughout the journey. We hope you will try this dish and give us your feedback.